We're back for a second bite of the apple here that is the USB stick found in the grass. <clears throat> and I think uh, we're, we made some good progress uh, last time. And when I say last time, I'm recording them back to back. So just a few moments ago, I feel like I made some good progress. Um, I did check out the Steam page, and uh, there are achievements associated with the game. Uh, apparently, that, that first um, screen that we saw with the right blocker, quote-unquote right blocker, uh, and all of that, apparently you can enter in the passwords to the, to the zip files there, and it will give you Steve, Steam achievements. Um, however, for whatever reason, when I try to launch it right now, it crashes, so I'll just go ahead and, and record... Uh, all of these now, and uh, I'll just do them later. So uh, file one was simply one, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, but apparently, since those are the only achievements, the rest of the story, like the satisfaction of the game, is with the reconstruction, and there's really no way to like validate. Like, there's not like a, uh, uh, at least as far as I can tell, um in the game files or anything any like final movie where it's like yeah you got it right because there's no validating our solution um which is probably uh you know somewhat contributes maybe to some of the frustrations that people are feeling uh on steam i am going to leave a positive review for this game either way simply because um it's so novel like this is a thing that in that we do this is a thing that computer investigators do for certifications it's a thing we do for practice it's a thing i give my students to do um and i think that that is awesome personally um but i can see why some people on steam might not be used to this kind of a thing and so it's you know not a game quote unquote um although a lot of the reviews are negative for the wrong reasons, and so I, I will leave a positive review. I just haven't haven't done it just just yet. Um, all right, so I think that there. Let's see. We did look. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We pulled out that archive, and it turned out to be like an iBooks thing or something like that. Uh, we have got videos. Alanis Morissette, ironic uh, blow up. We have a movie here. Uh, Share and Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Uh, oh, here's the uh, Erica Lust Films thing. And a lot of people are complaining that there's, like, copyright infringement and stuff. It's like, that's so dumb. People do this, you know? Like, it's part of the scenario. Relax, everybody. Um, all of these, you know, images. Uh, we saw some of these last time. Uh, DiffyTorrents.com. These are from Lestoska Pictures. We aren't seeing anything here, but let's extract this one at least. Come on, autopsy. You can do it. Come on, autopsy. I might have too many things open on my computer right now. I kind of have a lot. There we go. Let me close some of these things down, eh? Close down GIMP. I don't think we... Well, we might need John again. There are two more things to crack. Um... I uh, gotta leave Steam open. Okay. 
I mean, I guess I don't gotta leave it open, but... Alright, let's see what we just extracted was this here, and no data stream, no image. Okay, so let's drop this into File Analyzer. Um, FFD8FF, that is a JPEG file. That's the signature for it, anyway. All right. Um, all right, let's browse our data sources here. And yeah, we do have some deleted directories. Um, 2011 0308. And these CR2 files, they should be raw image, but I don't understand why. Um, let me see if there's a reader. CR2 file reader. Because they should just be raw image files. CR2 files are Canon raw image files used to store uncompressed image data taken by a Canon digital camera, which is why there's the extension mismatch. It thinks it's a TIFF because that's what a TIFF is, except it's not proprietary to Canon. Um, yeah, it seems like I should be able to just open them up with in Fran view. Let's try this again. Um, yeah, I should be able to just open it up as a TIFF. Maybe I can, and it's just it'll just take a minute here. Or maybe, no, that's not the image data. <laughs> I mean, if Infran view can't open it, then I'm not sure what can. Yeah, I should try changing it from a TIFF to a RAW. <sighs> Anything Windows? Oh, wow, Windows Native Handler opened it. But Infran View can't open with uh, Infran View. Huh. Well, fancy that. It's a moth. Okay. What else we got here? Uh, let's do view large icons. And this and this appear to be that bridge. Um, but let's go back to autopsy because there was another doc file. Um, that appeared to be removed. Yeah, run as far as I can. That's what I want to see. Oh, this is the thing that we were looking at before with the, um, um, monies on it. G and W. All right. I am going to um, take all of this. I'm going to dump it into our report. And I'm going to search for, see if the password for the archives is in here. Um, and I just didn't see it before. His dad's birthday in September. It'll be three years since he passed away. What day is this supposed to be? May 1st. Passages. Gym pass. Export. Um, I 
Okay. All right, let's read the last passage here. Oh, this is May 10th. Oh, that's right. It was like way, way beyond. This can't be. It was last modified on the 27th. So the day of the incident. The last entry I have here is the 20th or the 10th. Hmm, that, something doesn't seem right with this file. It's like it's missing something. It's like it's missing parts of it. I don't know what this... Zamo Weenie. Several more books in here that were deleted. Carved files. Oh, the other directory that's now empty is the one that was full of the MP3 files. 646 of them, my goodness. <sighs> this diary is really bothering me. I'm going to open it up in the native viewer instead of going through autopsy. It's bothering me because it's like it's incomplete. Why would she modify it on the 27th to correct grammar or syntax from days before? I'm, I'm feeling like autopsy might be screwing with me here a little bit. And it is opening. It's just taking its sweet ass time. All right. Text in Polish is not being checked. Okay. This is the last date indeed. No, see, autopsy was fucking with me. The last entry is on the 27th. Why autopsy? Why you do this? Bite me. All right, whatever. Okay. All right, now I'm interested. Okay. May 27th, the day of the incident. Splitting headache in the morning. Somehow I managed to get out of bed. Maybe I'll have a bike ride in the afternoon. At least that's what I told Aga when she asked me if I was going to be home the whole day. It was a loud scene around noon at the neighbors living on the other side of the ditch. They somehow kept themselves kept to themselves for some time now, but today it was like the field in which they were growing their fucks exploded. <laughs> The line I liked the most was the man's. I fucking bought you drugs and you didn't even make a fucking soup for me. Yep, no specifics, no pot, no coke. He said drugs. The woman kept relatively quiet. Usually I would hear her through closed windows. Maybe she was intoxicated after all. I remember the smell of pot from Thursday, but I think it came from our side of the ditch. Children were playing with a beach ball on the street. It popped and now they were pretending to throw it, waving their arms slowly wide open and closing them to catch it. Lilacs are gone now. Now it's time for jasmine. I can smell it all around the house. I saw a snail swallowtail. A sail swallowtail. 
They used to be rare in Poland. I remember being proud of myself when I took a photo of one back in 2011 in the southern Croatia. And in the last two to three years, I've seen them here as well. Too bad this one had only one hind wing. Oh, is that the moth she's talking about? Because uh, that only had one hind wing. Um, a stupid thought during one of Isa's dad's birthday party sometime explained what a Heisenberg strain is. You know, it's exact speed, but you don't know if it's positioned on tracks. Heisenberg speed, is she there? Is she here? Maybe this whole reset thing is a stupid idea. I asked me if I could pick up uh, something for her from Mary Vilska from Beta's Vietnamese girl. While I'm on the bike, sure, I can go there. I suppose it's going to any direction as other. The law of surreality. I haven't been at the railway bridge for two years, and now I will be here for the second time this month. I just have to climb up the staircase with the bike. It'll be like cross-country biking. Okay. So we know that she was traveling on her bike and that she was going to be crossing the rail bridge um, at some point that day. Now let's do a search for password again, now that we have the whole fucking document. Um... In fact, this booby selfie was the first item I opened in my mailbox today. Whoever did that has a very limited imagination. The Roto's boobs are a few sizes smaller, but the point is whoever in their right mind would use no security mechanism on their smartphone. Even Beta's phone is secured, although I've seen her unlock it once, and if I'm right, she uses one of the dumbest passwords there are. Okay. Uh, we have four results, so... Oh my god. May 16th. Um, it's a long entry. A plant pot on the window. Okay, I don't... It seems like it's related to something dealing with paranoia. Um, This is May 20th. I was making myself some supper when I saw a car pull up at my house. Eric bought Aga something from her parents. They came to the kitchen. We talked for a while, and then the conversation somehow drifted to cell phones, computers, and passwords, and how they are hard to remember. It turned out Aga and I have a similar system in which starting letters are the key. Okay. The major difference is that I use longer texts. I know by heart, or even my own notes as source text, whereas Aga comes up with random combinations of facts about her family and friends, known only to her. So following her system, my phrase could be, Dad's birthday is DDMM. Grandpa died when he was X. Aga is from Kvaskova, Skovka, and Beta is from X. We couldn't recall the name of Beta's village, of course. Aga's system is even better because this way the password contains both upper and lower case, lower letters, digits, and punctuation marks with no spaces. I told them the story of Dorota and the hoax with sending emails from the account on her phone. Okay. So, that's a potential password, including the punctuation. Where'd my notes go? Okay, whatever. I don't need the text here anymore because it's not even all of the text. Get up here. So, um, what are the rules? Um, Starting letters are the key. So the starting letters would be D B I, and then do we just use D here or um? I'm going to assume that we keep 
I'm gonna assume we keep the whole thing here. Um, we keep punctuation, but we get rid of spaces. So when he was, I assume we keep both of those. F K A. Watch me accidentally delete one of these punctuation marks. Uh, Aga is, uh, and Beta is from X. And then the clue, um, from file one is put a dot at the start of the second password. So we add a dot. Is this the password or do I need to actually find where dad's birthday? Cause that we know, actually, we saw that before um was the anniversary of um day is dad's birthday but he's dead um and that was may 1st 2018 it's been in september it'll be three years so then he died or wait uh dad's birthday is 0105 um um grandpa died Oh, it's got to be in here somewhere, right? Um, okay, and I found photos from Zelizna, of course, and I cried, of course. How could I not? They must have been taken on Sunday, maybe Saturday, because I remember my parents and Carol came to see us. They arrived in the morning and stayed until the evening. On Tuesday night, Grandma yelled at me. On Wednesday morning, we were on our way to Warsaw. On Thursday night, Grandpa was dead. Quite a three days of life in a life of a 12 year old. But although I cried over the photos, it didn't bother me as I thought it would. Okay, so he. Um, Grandpa died when he was. All right, so she was 12 when he died. Holy moly. All right, let's, let's find an easier one. Um, I think it's from Vaskovka. Let's see where beta is from. That one's got to be easier. Um, self. It was born to take people's ears off. Beta had her nails done. She had them from short and painted. With a ridiculous eye fucking color. It's her just looking at them. She spent like 10 minutes or so explaining that cutting them short helps them regenerate because the other girl holds her nails was a fear. This girl... Um, her nails done cheap at the. She finally wrapped up by telling us to see her Vietnamese. Her nails, nails done cheap at the. Is that it? Mary Vilska shopping mall? I think that might be it.
Um, you can see there when I rode my bike for shopping at the Fast Running Bus. It's not from from her workplace. Uh, okay, I'm seeing several things here that lead me to believe that it's Mary Vilska. So, I think. Um, I got an email from Beta. She attached a photo. It was actually sent yesterday. I almost missed it because... Oh, maybe if that photo has XF data, it will contain where she's from as well. They asked me about the... Okay. Uh, Um, on the bike. This is the last entry. Um, I don't know. I'm not confident about the name of Beta's Village because, um, I honestly am not paying enough attention. No, I'm mean, normally if this were like if I were actually doing an investigation, I would read absolutely every word of this, and I would get as much information as I possibly could out of it. I'm skimming through it because I know that this is just a scenario, and I'm kind of being lazy about it. Um, so I'm not, con I'm not, uh, solid on my answer to Beta's village because I don't really know which village they're from. Um, I don't know if they're from Warsaw or, um, Zalinza or, or whatever. Um, but I think we can go with that for now. Okay, let's get back to Grandpa. I'm going to search for... No, I'm not. We don't usually do this in the native things. Um, remind me of Dad's obituary with an error in his age. It said he died at the age of 68, but he was a year older. Mom was really angry about this. My accountant called and almost gave me a heart attack. You're crossing out whoever doesn't have it registered. I was getting ready to go to the district office when I realized I changed my business address after my parents died. This means I did it in 2015, which is later than 2011. Okay. All right. It was during the shitty fall of 2015, after my parents died and before my grandma died. Uh, she lost it. Uh, three months apart. Um, mother died. Grandpa died. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. All right. No, not stop. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. I might have to read this whole document in order to piece all this together. Uh, 
Uh, I killed someone in a drunk driving accident. Uh, dad, not grandpa, was in the car. Oh my god. Some shit went down here. So the two days before the heart attack that killed him, when Grandpa was caught in the act by Grandma, 20 years old, with a 20-year-old. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, now we, we know two days before he died. Okay. All right, I'm going to pause the video, read the document, and see what I can piece together here. Okay, well, that was uh, something of an ordeal, but this... <laughs> Uh, this diary, which is uh, 25 pages or so, it is an interesting read. There's definitely a lot going on here. Um, but suffice to say, I think I was able to figure out the um, password here. Um, I had the village that Beta is from wrong. Everything else was right. The grandfather's age required uh, quite a bit of figuring out. Um, I had to figure out so he died uh when he was caught by the grandmother having an affair with a 20 year old he married the grandmother when she was 20 he's eight years older she was born you know here he was born there and so yeah we, we had to do quite a bit of looking um and honestly if i'm wrong i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do but i'm pretty confident and then we had a period at the start as we were instructed before all right that is that is the password. Good. All right. File 2.txt. Proper manners. Appropriate dress. Still inside. I'm a total mess. Smart and savvy. Wearing no ring. Overthinking every last thing. Rummaging through the troubled past. Disclosed to me. Lies that don't last. Put the house number at the end of the third password. Okay. Um... Okay, so if we look at the first letter of each of the non-indented uh, lines, it says password. Um, so the password then is... Um, okay, well it spells out password, but unless the password is password... Um, ah. is this the same thing that she was doing before where it's p m a d i don't know let's try it i guess uh, p m a d I'm assuming that I get rid of the apostrophe M. Why would they do... Yeah, this doesn't seem right, because why would they do the same trick twice that would necessarily be a very fun challenge since we just did that, and this has um, only one... Um, other part to it, which is the house number, whereas the last one had three things we had to find, and so why have the same exact test, or the same exact challenge, only easier the third time or second time. So this doesn't seem right, but I'll, I'll try it anyway. And then the house number. Um... Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so it didn't give me so, so, so. Spec. Um change my business address. Um number Cleaned up a bit, not squeaky clean, but at least I wiped off those white streaks of some bird shadow all over the brass. House numbers, number three is a bit loose, number nine is fixed, so it's house number 39. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Um, of course, the third file did have a long hash value, so... No, that's not right. Okay. Um, okay, well, hold on. Maybe this is the other method that she mentioned. Because wasn't there two in the last one she used uh, Ada, Aga's method? Um, you have a similar system. Major difference is that I use longer texts I know by heart, or even my own notes. Okay. Um, told them the story of you know, folks emails. Okay, but she doesn't mention what her method is. Um, So, their systems are similar, but she uses, yeah, so we did use the same one. Um, hmm. Excuse me. Her own notes, huh? Um, what are these? I've been seeing these all over the place um, in the diary, and I mean, they appear to be coordinates, or parts of coordinates anyway, but I'm not sure, because they're not always there. Like, not all of them have them. See, this one has it. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder if that has something to do with it. Because, I mean, her own notes, because she could be referring to her own diary. Not all of the entries have them, but then I'd have to figure out if they're connected and then how. It's 2748. That's supposed to be... It's not page, because there's only 25 pages. Line number and character, perhaps. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, oh. Look at that. This is an entry that has the weird coordinate things. And the first letter is bolded. Um, oh, and so is this one. 
So maybe they're not connected. This one's not. All right, we got two things here to think about. Coordinates, or minutes and seconds, and bolded letters. Do we have any other bolded letters here? It's hard to see because of the font. This one's not bolded. This one is. Okay, um, let's do them one at a time then. Um, let's go from the top, and we will have two lists here. Let me switch this over. Put this over here. And we will have um, and bolded letters, and we'll go from the top and keep a count of each. So the first bolded letter we have is D. Um, here we have. I'm just gonna. Copy and paste this, and then we have an I. G. Another one of these. We, we have a definite pattern here. So here's four days, three days, four days, three days. So it's every, it's on a pattern. Four days, three days, four days, three days, four days, three days. Is that an E that's bolded? It is. And the two are definitely not connected because, oh, see, you know, here we have five days, so it's off pattern now. Um, I feel like this is spelling something because it says dig. And did I, if I missed an E, it would be dig deep. It did. Where's that? The last E I found. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I did miss the E. So it is. This is spelling something out. It says dig deep so far. Um, so we need to just be more diligent, and not miss another one here. That's not rolling. So the three days on this. Um, another E. R. Dig deeper. That's the end. So. Is it just dig deeper 39? Or is it telling me what to do? Nope. 
Okay. Dig deeper. Dig deeper. What does that mean? Are some of the last letters bolded? Um, let me try again. Except I'm going to use all of the first letters um, to see if... So this is all of the bolded letters. Let me use all of the letters here. So, or should I use all of the first letters of all of the... Let's see, D-I-T-T-I-I. -I. No, that doesn't seem to be spelling anything. You know, but it, it, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to spell anything in order for it to be an effective password. Um, let's see. Let's... All right, I, I feel like the first letter of every paragraph is a little bit insane. But... Let me try the first letter of every entry. So, D O I. And some could be something so far. That's that's a word. Doing is a word. My. I think it's smelling something. E. E. Yes. Yes, it's smelling something. Doing my best. To. Best to to yeah, I think I missed a letter. Best to hide. Okay, no, I don't think I missed a letter now. E. To hide E, which to hide I, I O, this a hide I open. I I open to hide eye openers and then thirty nine. That doesn't seem right. It spells something out, but and it, uh, it's also not another clue though. But this isn't the password. I think I'm at a dead end because I don't know what to do with that. It is the password. We got it. Yes. File three. There we go. Logical stories with no loopholes or question marks, where everything seems seamlessly connected and perfectly understandable. There are they are a rarity. Are a rarity. Real stories are like puzzles with lots of missing pieces, tricky false leads, flickering shadows on the wall of Plato's cave, and reflections of the reality. Usually the more we delve into them, the less we know. Sometimes the only honest decision we can make is to admit that the pieces of the puzzle in front of us cannot be put together. Well, that is something else. Um, and, uh... 
Yeah. The the whole um, piecing together the uh, the second password um, using personal information in order to um, piece together a password that I've done before for investigations. It happens, you know, uh, if you can't use a password database, um, then that's a, a good second place to go, you know, for, for finding that information. Uh, people usually don't encode their passwords. So the third password was definitely a bridge too far as far as realism goes. Um, uh, but on the other hand, I appreciated it because I actually do like subscription puzzle boxes for fun. Um, so that was really more reminiscent of a puzzle that was created for somebody to, you know, come in afterwards and try and figure it out like escape room style. Um, but otherwise this is really good corpora. And I would absolutely recommend this game to my students and my forensics classes um, if they're looking for a little bit of, of fun. And I am absolutely going to enter in those passwords to get those Steam achievements. Um, in terms of the actual investigation itself and the story, um, the diary is basically all you need to, to read. Um, as we saw, we can piece together quite a bit of the um story as well from the the actual evidence that's in there so um that's great i i loved this uh i really did this this is awesome digital corpora it's exactly the kind of forensic challenge that i present my students exactly the kind that i do myself exactly the kind that i love to do for fun so i loved this game i'm going to leave a positive review and i i can't recommend it enough after after game after game of of hacking themed games or or hacking simulator games with none of them actually getting it right it is so awesome to have a game that actually does it like 95 percent of the way there in terms of of recreating what you're actually going to have to go through now it this game doesn't provide you a template forensic report it doesn't provide you any procedures or anything so i can absolutely see somebody who's not familiar with forensic digital forensic work being frustrated by this uh, because i knew what tools to use and i knew where to look and so for me it really wasn't that bad i was able to complete this and uh, about two hours or, or about two and a half hours according to the recording time for for obs um so for me it really it was really not that bad i knew what to do and i knew where to go some of the some of the challenges were legitimately challenging for me which is great uh, but none of them were really forensically related it was more with the the codes and whatnot um so what I'm saying is, I get the fact that it's not the most popular game on Steam, I still recommend it, and it is absolutely one of the best, most faithful recreations of actual cybersecurity work, in this case, albeit in a forensic capacity, uh, that I have seen, and so kudos to the developers i would love to see more like this and i'm absolutely going to try the other games that were recommended which were uh, something about a phone and then her story totally on my list absolutely going to be doing those as well um, and i hope you enjoyed the change of pace as well if you've been watching the hacking videos um you know maybe this this video is a nice change of pace for you as well <laughs> it certainly was for me <laughs> all right so if you are thinking about playing this uh uh please do excellent forensic challenge if you are interested in doing other forensic challenges uh go ahead reach out and contact me because i have a, I have, over the course of my career, collected copious amounts of digital corpora and scenarios very much like this, um, except distributed not through Steam, of course, um, which which you absolutely, uh, I'd be happy to share. Um, cause, and some of it was created by my university, by my students, so um, some of it you're not going to find anywhere else. Or I can point you to my, my sources for corpora, um, all of which are, are excellent I use in class all the time. So, uh, take care. This was the USB stick found in the grass. I would love to see more. I like this from the developer, but I understand it's probably not the most 